many of us empaths have experienced trauma or pain or dysregulation often early in life during childhood or adolescence. Honestly, I've never met an empath that didn't experience some form of upset or disturbance in their life. It's strange that we have this in common, but it's profound when we work through it and we heal because then all of the pain and suffering that we went through just becomes part of the story. It's not the whole story, right? The whole story is one of victory It's one of healing and learning lessons and completing cycles and up-leveling our lives and removing ourselves from a victim mindset and mentality or being stuck in patterns and cycles and situations that are no longer serving. We move through that mucky, mucky, yucky, yucky, (laughs) and eventually we really heal the empath's experience changes throughout their lifetime. So it may initially start with pain or it may be very blissful and then pain or trauma or separation enters. And then we have this ebb and flow of learning and healing and releasing, learning, healing, and releasing. Oftentimes after we've experienced pain or trauma, some of us begin to experience subtle visions from angels visitations from these angels or our ancestors and other safe spiritual beings. We also begin to align ourselves with nature. And many of us find that we have a unique connection with animals. As we continue to grow and evolve, we experience high conscious interactions, you know, with high vibe souls We call them soul family. Many of us have found our soul family and our soul tribe on social media. That's why I can't consider social media this terrible, horrible thing. It certainly can be terrible and horrible, but it's also been a great platform and catalyst for so many of us from all over the world to find each other and to share love and light. And I think that's so beautiful. Divine connections with creation and God, the all of consciousness begin to emerge at higher levels as we continue our empath journey. And we also experience a deeper connection with self. Throughout the empath experience, we begin to recognize that, oh, our soul sent us here. Our soul and the divine collaborated a long, long time ago, and planned this birth and planned this soul experience through a human form. And a lot of us accept what I call mission assignments or service work. It's why we're here on the planet, to up-level, to heal ourselves, of course, and also to do good in the world, to bring balance, to neutralize some of the negativity, to you know, expose darkness and transmute those agendas into a higher vibration and frequency. So our empath experience is an ongoing elevation of awareness of all that you are, all that we are, and what we came to do, and how we are accomplishing divine will with our life path, just being our authentic selves. It's multidimensional and it's multidynamic. It's really exciting. It's truly an adventure being an evolved empath who is choosing to show up as the best version of themselves. We're not perfect, that's for sure. And with all of our energy sensitivity, we feel everything that's going on in the world around us with the people that we love, even strangers. We feel the earth. We feel the animals, we feel the flora kingdom. We work with the elements and the elementals. Our path is quite unique and different and powerful and profound. Before we find our our way, a lot of the time it's very scary and anxiety provoking and stressful. 
it's all part of the path. It's all part of the adventure of being an, an empath. And as we grow into the evolution of our divine purpose, maturity begins to emerge. And there's a maturity and perspective that impacts the community that we live in. And, you know, it actually impacts the service work that we're doing. We become leaders. Our healing gifts and our power become fully activated. And we begin to finesse our energy, that old energy, energy sensitivity that used to drain us or wipe us out. You know, we, some of us needed to take long naps after doing any kind of service work because it was just so overwhelming. Well, some of us are now learning to ground and anchor ourselves and manage our own energy, finesse our own energy, if you will, so that problems are solved very quickly. We're able to give to the people that or community that we're working with without draining our own battery. In fact, one of the biggest lessons for us as empaths is to learn to lean on the energy of spirit that's gifted to us to do our service work rather than drain our own batteries, feeling like it's our responsibility to save the world. It's not our responsibility to save anyone, dear empaths. We're way showers. We are illustrated lessons. We're role models. We are healers. We're love and light illustrated in a human form. We are divine ambassadors, but we're in collaboration and co-creation with the entire universe, with the divine, with the ascended beings, with God. So we're never alone. And therefore, we don't have to lean on our own energy to do this beautiful work. We also have to recognize that part of finessing our energy is allowing ourselves to recalibrate after doing profound service work. Sometimes we have to go back into nature or go into the cave or the cocoon and be in hermit mode for a while, and that's okay. Many of us are introverts, and you know, it's natural for us to want to recharge in the privacy of our own metaphorical cave. And the fat is what breathes life force back into you and keeps you grounded and anchored. Do it. Do it as often as you need to. Breathe life into your own soul. With all of your love and beautiful intentions towards this world and the community that you're serving, please don't forget dear empaths, to pour life back into yourself. Never neglect yourself. You are, in fact, your first ministry. You are beautiful and you are helping people realign after the various sufferings and you know individual situations of trauma that they've experienced. You bring blessings into a person's life. You help them to manifest a beautiful life, a more aligned life, just by being yourself. You are truly a beacon of light. Never forget that. And the electricity of your energy signature is truly palpable. You're so beautiful. And being in your own energy and finessing your own energy and healing your own wounds and letting go of cycles and patterns that no longer serve and truly stepping up to be the best version of yourself is one of the most authentic and aligned ways that you help our planet to heal. So thank you so much. Many of you are increasing your confidence as you do your service work with authenticity, as you're loving this planet, even when it's difficult to love, well, not really the planet, even when the people and the situations are difficult to love, you're continuing to show up and shine so beautifully and so brightly. Thank you, beautiful empath. Your confidence, hopefully, is increasing as you do your service work, realizing that you're not alone. You are in collaboration, divine collaboration. You are co-creating with this universe and with, the, with God of creation, the all that is nature. You are never alone. And you signed up for this at a soul level, at a higher level. You signed up to show up, and you're doing such a beautiful, beautiful job. You are in your divine knowing. You are in your divine truth. 
you are recognizing the divine connection of your human self to your soul self and all of your higher selves. You are recognizing that you are divinely supported, whether you call that angels or guardians or protectors or ancestors, ascended masters, whatever words you have, divine galactic beings, whatever words you have for them and whatever words you have for yourself, star seed, way show or empath angelic human, whatever labels you choose to use or not use, you are in a beautiful space, you are in a beautiful position, and you are never alone. Remember all that you are. Remember where you've been. All of the different individual highs and lows, the ups and downs, the good, the bad, the ugly, none of it is the entire life story. They're just individual chapters in your beautiful empath life book. It's an ever unfolding, it's continuing to happen. And as you continue to elevate your consciousness and your vibration, and you remain at that beautiful vibrational set point that is in divine alignment with all that you are as a soul, your profundity will grow and you will be amazed at all that you accomplish in divine collaboration with spirit who loves you and is always with you. Stay the course near empaths and continue to be at peace.